Welcome back to the Minnesota State Mavericks Dynasty and today the 0-1 Mavericks who are coming off of a heartbreaking loss to Kentucky are taking their talents up to Minneapolis to take on the Golden Gophers and if you guys are excited for the Battle of Minnesota Part 5 make sure you guys drop a like if you're new subscribe for more content we lead the season series or the series lead is 3-1 to one, uh, in favor of Minnesota State so we have their numbers so far, but this time they're coming in ranked. So that's something that's a little new to us when we face this team. They have been ranked in the past, but not when we face them. Uh, so I, I, I guess this is a little bit of a newer territory. But we're going to take a look here at recruiting and take a look here at, um, you know, what we have so far. Uh, let's organize this by overall. Uh, we got we're getting kickers. The kickers are coming pretty uh, in pretty fast here. Uh, the tackles are coming in fast. The offensive linemen. We got two punters actually. Uh, Brian Washington. We got. We may have gotten him too. So that's always good. Um, we don't need the second fullback, but if he does come, that's fine. Um, Arthur Anderson, um, Chris Williams, and Antonio Wright, and Marcus Smart or Marcus or Marcus Scott, I should say, not Smart. That's the basketball player. But all these players looking to come to MSU and make an impact. So we got all these, all of them have leads, so I don't, I'm not too worried about like losing them or anything like that. We're not going to get into any recruiting fights or anything like that. Top 25 looks like this. We There was a huge shakeup in the top 25 uh, from this, last week to this week. Number one this time is LSU, and they beat number one Auburn, previously number one Auburn, but they, uh, that was just a dominant win by LSU. They look really good and really strong. Uh, two through ten is T TCU, Clemson, Oklahoma, Michigan State. NC State, Auburn, Virginia Tech, Miami, and Iowa. Iowa's in the top 10. Interesting. Something I thought I'd never see in any dynasty, really. Uh, 11 through 20 is Georgia, Florida, Penn State, Ohio State, Oregon, Kentucky, South Carolina, North Carolina, uh, and Indiana, and Minnesota. And then 21 through 25 is Stanford, Houston, Texas, USC, and Northern Illinois. That's crazy to me. Other receiving votes go to Pitt, Oklahoma State, after they lost to Rice. They lost to Rice, mind you. So we have to play them at Stillwater, I think. And they just lost to Rice. Michigan, Washington, Cincinnati, UCF, West Virginia, Notre Dame, and Virginia all have receiving votes. Uh, Oklahoma State, Notre Dame, Nebraska, Cincinnati, and Virginia are dropped out of the top 25. Uh conference standings let's see take a look at how good our conference is doing uh air force has won their first game uh wyoming and boise are still undefeated uh, new mexico utah state and colorado state are both one and one we are 0 and one we are the only team in our side of the conference without a win on the other side everybody's undefeated everybody's one and oh except for nevada they're zero and two i'm telling you this conference has a little bit of a trick to them they're they're not just you know they're not just uh you know, they're not the Mac. So there's a lot of good teams in here. We got to be careful. Like, this is, they're, they're better than what we give them credit for. And I know a lot of you guys are saying, oh, you got, you're going to run the table on that. I don't think you, you say that, but we'll find out. I think Brett Brown's Heisman candidacy was hurt. No, actually it wasn't. Um, he did throw for 327 yards, so that does help him out a little bit. He did throw an interception, but it was fine. He still rushed for nearly 100 yards as well. Four total touchdowns. I think that actually was... I guess good for his Heisman candidacy. Not that he he didn't win, but he still showed resiliency and still got us back into the game. And um, granted, we lost the game, but you know he he played well up down the stretch. So anyway, we're gonna take on Minnesota. It should be a good one. I will see you guys on the field. And we are underway under the lights here in Minneapolis as we're gonna receive the kickoff. This is interesting. I never thought I'd see this. From, oh well, it's. Turning into one of those rivalry games. We play them every year. It's turning into a deep hatred of rivals. I don't know. I'm, I'm just making I didn't think we would be under the lights here in Minneapolis, though. It's, 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 this is unique, and it's cool. Oh, another handoff to Manny. Oh, Manny. Oh, Manny. Keep going, buddy. Oh, my God. The blocking has been beautiful. 20-yard gain. Already firing away. Now he comes back a week later. Let's see if his feet have come back to the ground. Jacob Jackson, give me a gain of about 17, 18 yards. All right. <laughs> He's the man. Five-yard line. It's second down. 
Oh, man, he with a touchdown. Easy touchdown. 7-zip. Can we continue our dominance over Minnesota? We'll see. Running a, running a, this play will not, cer certainly won't help. Oh. Did they, oh, they didn't get it. Let's go. Come on, D. That's the type of screen pass that fools. All right, first down. We get to see one of the most dangerous players in college football today to the 29. Well, this is definitely out of our field goal range, that's for sure. Oh, Sanders with a catch first down. He's tackled around the 23 yard line. Zings it right in there. Oh, Griffin, touchdown. I saw the sliver of hope that I had to get it in there. And we got it. That's all that matters. Not today. Almost intercepted by Robbie Hayden. This just shows you that you don't carry 69 yards in the first half. Just after one quarter. Oh. Slow you saw that happen in slow motion, everybody. First down, ten to go. Ball on the thirty-six yard line. Oh, right over the middle. There you go. First down again. Come on, Brett. First down. There you go. Nice run up the middle. Brett, I can remember the year that this young man enjoyed. Oh, we're just an inch short of the end zone. We're like that close. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, I want to cover three. I've got cover three. Wow, that's their first first down of the game when it comes over halfway through the second quarter. Glitchable, I should say. That was way too glitchy of a play to just have happen. Oh, come on. We're not doing this. We're not doing this. He had no momentum. He had no freaking business making that kind of move. Zero. Come on. Make a freaking play. This is insanity. Oh, my God. Under the pressure right now. This is stupid. That was too easy, and y'all know it. That was some crap. All right, that that 22-yard run was a bunch of crap. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Joe Cooper, gain of 19 yards. Works for me. Another one. Oh, he broke the tackle. Oh, he's gonna score. Oh, he's not, but he's still gonna get a first and goal. Oh my lord, that was beautiful. Touchdown. I've been here to start the second half. Are they gonna go with the same approach that they have been doing, or are they just gonna continue to run the ball? And why are you just sitting there waiting for something to happen? This is insane. Why are we giving up so many yards in the run? Y'all need to stop sucking so much ass. Oh my god, guys. Come on. This is, this is getting ridiculous. Stop the run. 
turn that one into a big play. Third down. Right side run. Or we'll take a 10 yard sack and they can move on with their lives. Man, they really the the game really wants us to come out and swing for the fences, don't they? First down from Scooter. Jacob Jackson, so reliable. First down. Need to get it down to the 39. It's like everybody forgets how to block on a certain on, on this in this quarter. Or somebody just doesn't throw the ball the right way. That hard. They're going to run the football. That's what they do. Oh my god, come on! You're letting them back into this game. Seriously, come on. This is getting ridiculous with this game. Play calls. It's like, dude, can I get my my set of plays that always work for me anyway? I just that's all I want. It's just my plays. I'm I'm not blowing this lead. You don't deserve my fucking attention. And you overthrow it. Oh my god, why are we choking this game away? Brett. Screen pass. Called it. Intercepted. I mean, if we get it to a two-score game, I'm okay with that. Although that's not the way I was hoping to get it. Kicks away, and he's got it. I smell a screen. Not today. Get sacked. Mm -mm. Come on, defense. There you go. Gary Gilmore has been balling to try and do something. Like, I'm not running the ball. I will throw the ball, but it's not going to be far enough. Hey, tackling would be great, guys. It really would. Y'all could tackle for once in your lives. That would be great. We still have a football game. To Oh, go down. And he can't get away from the pressure. Boy, Brad, Are they going to kick the field goal? I can see it. I can also see them. Uh, fourth down. They're going to go for it. They got the balls. They're quite in field goal. They're well within field goal range. And have all three of their timeouts. I don't know what they're doing. Incomplete. Game over. Good job by the defense. Oh, there we go. That's a good run right there. The Golden Gophers, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. And that is your ball game. Final score, Minnesota 17, Minnesota State 27. A pretty low-scoring affair for what you guys are used to, but it's still a quality game uh, offensively. We kind of we started out fast, but we kind of tapered off a lot in the second half. And I tried to keep putting my foot on the on the on the gas, but you know, stuff happens, I guess. But uh, still a solid win. We gave up less than 20 points to a high quality opponent. But then again, we kind of know their play style. They love running the football. And uh, if we continue to, to if we stop that, then we're good. But we had a couple of hiccups. Um, but next, I think next time we take on um, Oklahoma State. Should be a good one then. Thank you guys so much for watching. 
Until then, my name is Sim with Vengeance. Drop a like and subscribe if you're new. Until then, peace out.